All right, we have some amazing news for home buyers this month. This is our September update for the market. My name is Charles. I'm a real estate agent here in Arizona in the Valley of the Sun. It is still hot and it hasn't cooled down yet. But today we're gonna be going over all of our numbers and reporting for September 2024. Let's get into it. So as of right now, if you're a buyer, we have some really, really good news for you. So inventory is up just a tick from last month. Um, actually a lot from last month, but it's up year over year by like 1.7%, not a big whoop. But overall, we got a lot more homes sitting on the market, which is good for you as a buyer because it means more choices. Supply and demand, while the demand is staying pretty steady, but the supply is going through the roof, which really affects prices. So our next step we're gonna be looking at is our pending sales. This is how many homes are going under contract. Well, from last year, it's actually 32.5% less, 32% less homes going under contract. That is a huge number. So that generally translates into less closings, which is a separate stat going under contract and closing two different things, <laughs> but actually closed sales are down 7%. So less homes are closing. And so the buyers that are out there that are looking, if you're a seller watching this, sneaking up on our update, uh, they're a lot more serious because they're not getting into the game because they just, it's an election year. So buyers are inherently a little bit more averse that of itself. That's a whole nother video. Actually prices generally go up after the election, just so you know. So if you're going to buy probably the best time now. They're probably gonna drop the rates on top of that. Ultimately, closed sales are down, pending sales are down tremendously. Days on market are up almost 20%, 19.6%. So what that means is it used to take a little bit less than two months, now it's taking a little bit more than two months. And what that translates to is that it, we call this the months of supply. I have it on my paper. Um, we have this sheet for you too, by the way, we'll have it in a download so you can click it, see it somewhere, and we'll put it everywhere. So months of supply, you want for a health Healthy market to be three to six months. We were under three forever. It was always a seller's market. Uh, during the crazy times in the 2020s, it was like two weeks, like 0.2 or 0.4 of a month of supply, right? Right now we're at 3.7. I, I suspect that will get up to about four uh, pretty soon, as early as next month, and five probably towards the, uh, the end of this year, maybe even getting into the six is really tipping into a buyer's market um, as things continue. January, I think it'll all go away personally. I think the rates by being low, I think sellers coming out from hiding because the rates are getting low, I think a lot of move up buyers are gonna be able to sell their home and then move into something else that they really want that they've been putting off because the rates have been so high. I think we're gonna be just fine. But right now, I think we have a small window of getting a really good deal if you're a buyer, because let's be honest, there's some homes that the average days on market when I'm looking at this are about 67 in Maricopa County. Just last month, they were 50, 58. Before that, they were barely 50. Before that, they were 40 something. You got, you got to think, you have these sellers, all their friends, everybody they have known who has tried to sell their house over the last couple of years have sold like that. And their house has been sitting for a very long time. And we've been saying this since I think April, May, that the best time to sell was right then, which is proving to be kind of the top of the market. Um, as of right now, if you see some of these homes sitting on the market, they may have not have had any showings. They may just be sitting there, you know, at the dance all by themselves, nobody to talk to them. And then you come along, young buyer with an offer for their house. They may just chomp on that offer, even if it may not be the best offer, at least get the deal working. Now on the other side, if you're a seller, you need to sell quick. Uh, let us know, we got you covered. We're selling on average in about six, seven days for well over what we're asking, hitting all of our promises and our guarantees that we talk about when we do our listing appointments. But that's like another video. But ultimately, we wanted to make this video to give you an update on the market. Right now, it is looking like a great time to buy as we head into our election season, as we head into our fourth quarter. For sellers, you can still get an amazing price for your house. You just have to do something special uh, for your buyers. And we kind of figured that out. Uh, but ultimately, when they have this average of you know, 60, 70 days on market, what that really is, is the good homes go in about a month. The homes that need a little bit more care, they take about 90 to 120 days. So that's why you get that average. I hope this helps. This is Charles. If you have any questions about your particular situation, let me know and I'll talk to you soon.